Dundalk were looking to boost their outside hopes of catching Cork, while Derry knew a win would help their chances of finishing second. And Dundalk almost made a dream start, only for John Mountney's effort to be ruled out for offside. But Dundalk were soon off the mark. David McMillan's early ball over the Derry defence found Robbie Benson, and with goalkeeper Jared Doherty rushing off his line, Benson slotted home to break the deadlock after 23 minutes. And Dundalk, who had beaten Derry a week earlier in the Irish Daily Mail FAI Cup, wasted precious little time in doubling their lead. Straight after the play restarted, Conor McDermott was guilty of giving the ball away, and Patrick McElhenney's sumptuous ball to the far post found McMillan, who duly gobbled it up to leave last year's champions on course for a sixth win in seven away league games. 2-0 then became 3-0. Chris Shields, who was back in the Dundalk team in place of Stephen O'Donnell, fed Michael Duffy, and while his shot was parried by Doherty, Benson was on hand to turn in the loose ball. Duffy was involved again in Dundalk's next goal, this time sending the ball across the penalty area for Mountney to find the net, and this time it stood. It was 4-0 now, and it still wasn't half-time. Derry knew they had a lot to do in the second half if they were to possibly get anything from the game. They stepped up their efforts with Aaron Barry's shot caught by Gary Rogers, but at least it gave manager Kenny Shields some encouragement. Barry McNamee was the next to try his look for Derry. He stepped up to take a free kick, but unfortunately for the candy stripes, he couldn't find the target. Derry's last decent chance of claiming a consolation goal came after good work by substitute Jamie McIntyre. He tricked his way past Dane Massey on the Derry right before crossing, but Nathan Boyle headed wide. So Derry slumped to their heaviest league defeat of the season so far. For Dundalk, the 4-0 win edged them closer to leaders Cork, but they knew they could re-establish a 17-point advantage with victory over...